Hi everybody! I think many of you are familiar with our yellow cordless drill of unknown origin that we've been using since the first videos on our channel. And in spite of the fact that it's cheap, I paid no more than $15 3 years ago. It has served us faithfully all this time. The only drawback is that it runs out of battery pretty fast. And every time you use it, you never know how long the battery will last. So I've decided to upgrade our companion and attach such a battery charge indicator. The only tricky moment was to find a suitable spot to place it. I could not attach it to the upper part, because it contains the motor and cooling system. And there was also not enough space in the handle. That is why I decided to place it below in the base, right here. The stand is quite thick and also it will look pretty cool. You can find such an indicator in a number of online shops. The link to the shop I bought it from will be in the description. You can check it out and maybe even find a better one. So, first of all, I stuck a piece of tape to the screen. Then I cut off the excess and covered the place I'm going to attach it to with the leftover piece. Then let us cut out a piece of plastic with a rotary or any other tool. And unscrew the screws. Now let's take it apart and make some space for the indicator. At first I thought that it would fit, but I was mistaken as it happened to be too big. So I had to heat up the plastic and push it all the way through to get the shape needed. And we also had to unsolder the connector because it's also too big. Later on we will connect the wires directly to the circuit boards. So I've decided not to take risks pushing the thing through the plastic, but rather make a wooden strip and heat the plastic around it. After dealing with the rough edges using sandpaper, I started to put our drill back together. By the way, our indicator is connected directly to the terminals of the battery. You can even make a small switch or a time switch, and you'll be able to press the button to check how much more the battery will last. I decided not to complicate it too much, and just turn off the battery when not using it. There was a screw where we placed the indicator. So, to put our drill back together, we of course are going to use hot glue. It will both keep the parts from falling off and fill up the crevices. Even if you'll need to take it apart one day, that will not be a problem, because glue will soften up if you heat it up. After cutting and using sandpaper, we get such an uneven surface. To make it clear, just heat it up with a heat gun. In the end, let us stick a piece of tape onto the screen and dye the base in black. So guys, let us see what we've got. Ta-da! Here's our beautiful and most importantly useful modded drill we've made. Now we'll always be able to check how long the battery will last. And do the most necessary tasks first and then do the rest. I'm sure in time you will come to know how much 15% of the battery will last you. But today's video is over. If you liked our video, consider dropping a like and subscribe to our channel for more. The more active you are, the more frequently we'll be able to upload. So, see you in the next one! Did you know? Italian scientist Alessandro Volta is the father of the law of capacitance. On basis of his experiments with a pair of zinc and copper plates separated by cardboard soaked in acid, he proved that electricity could be garnered chemically. Later on, in 1802, batteries for mass production were developed.